line by line explanation you need to revise these mcq tests so mcq tests and cbse has included mcq tests in the final exams so these are very very important so mcq tests are ready for the chapters the summer of the beautiful white horse and the poem childhood also the portrait of a lady and a photograph and coming up next is the mcq test from the laburnum top and ranga's marriage now let's do the important questions from this poem now the first one discuss the title of the poem it is a very important question a goldfinch has made its nest on the highest branch that is at the top of the laburnum tree hidden amidst dense foliage so on top of the tree hidden amidst dense foliage that is the thickness the thickest part of the laburnum tree there the goldfinch has made its nest the otherwise still and silent tree comes to life when the goldfinch comes to feed its chicks so tree jo hai ekdam silent hai koi halchal nahi hai lekin ekdam se tree animate ho jata hai jab wo goldfinch aati hai apne chicks ko feed karne ke liye so thus there is commotion and activity at the top of the tree where the nest is so wo jo activity hai wo jo commotion hai wo top of the tree pe hota hai क्योंकि नेस्ट वहां पे है सो देर इज चर्पिंग ट्विटरिंग अ लोर ऑफ विंग फ्लैपिंग एंड ट्विलिंग दिस एक्साइटमेंट स्प्रेड्स टू द होल ट्री बट इट सेंटर इज द ट्री टॉप सो ये जो एक्साइटमेंट है ये जो शेकिंग है ट्रेम्बलिंग है ट्री की वो पूरे ट्री पे फैल जाती है लेकिन जो असल सेंटर है वो ट्री टॉप है इसलिए द टाइटल ऑफ द पोम द लबर्नम टॉप सो दस द टाइटल ऑफ द पोम द लबर्नम टॉप इज एप्ट एंड जस्टिफाइड सो दिस इज अबाउट द टाइटल नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन so what is the sorry what is common between the beginning and the ending of the poem so the poem it begins with the silence and stillness that surrounds the laburnum tree this lack of activity with the yellow falling leaves creates a sense of gloom and dullness the same status is again seen at the end of the poem when the goldfinch flies away from the tree after feeding her noisy chicks so shuruaat mein bhi ekdam se silence hai stillness hai ek gloomy atmosphere hai because of autumn season yellow falling leaves or end baby jab goldfinch jo hai ud jati hai tree se so similar kind of status is created similar kind of emptiness is created so there's again silence now we move on to the next one why is the laburnum top silent now it is autumn season the laburnum tree is shedding its leaves its seeds have already fallen so there's no activity in the tree and death like silence it surrounds the tree thus it is silent so there's no activity there's nothing as if there's nothing inside the tree so therefore death like silence is surrounding the tree now what happens when the goldfinch comes or what change occurs in the laburnum tree after the entry of the goldfinch with the arrival of the goldfinch the laburnum tree becomes alive there's movement there's noise and the otherwise silent tree now shows activity and excitement the chirps of the chicks and the trills of the goldfinch they shake the whole tree the tree is thrilled with the arrival of the goldfinch so this is the change that occurs in the laburnum tree after the entry of the now to what is the movement of the goldfinch compared to and why now the movement of the goldfinch has been compared to a lizard its movement is sleek and quick like that of a lizard so simple comparison sleek and quick like that of a lizard it's simile so the poet has used simile here what is the significance of the last line in the poem in the last line of the poem the laburnum tree once again subsides into silence this silence has been termed as emptiness by the poet because it is the entry of the goldfinch that brings the tree to life now that silence in the end it is termed as emptiness because in the beginning it is entry of the goldfinch that makes the tree alive so there's excitement there's commotion as the goldfinch feeds its babies but after the goldfinch flies away the tree becomes empty so there's no goldfinch the tree is empty so empty of the source of commotion so the source of excitement has gone the chicks they have also become quiet after their mother had left so that is the significance of the last line again quiet stillness surrounds the tree next why does the poet call the whispering of the bird eri now the laburnum tree is quiet and still there is no activity in the tree this death like silence of the laburnum tree is broken by the sudden chirps of the goldfinch so these sweet trills of the bird seems eri amidst the silence the sound seems strange 
इन द मिड्स ऑफ टोटल साइलेंस सो एकदम से शांति है तो उसके बीच में कोई भी आवाज आती है whether it is soft and delicate so it sounds strange ki ajeeb se awaaz kahan se aayi so that is why it's called airy by the poet amidst total silence there is chirping of this bird and it seems airy for the last question after that we'll be doing the important expressions in the first line the poet talks about the laburnum top but in the last line he refers to the tree as a whole why this is again an important question The poet talks about the laburnum top in the beginning, as he wants the reader to concentrate on the top of the tree where the whole activity takes place. He mentions about it right in the beginning. So, first line may he reader ko poet kehta hai ki top of the laburnum tree pe attention ko. So, the whole attention he attracts towards the top, jahan pe sari activity hone wali hai. So, as the poem progresses, the goldfinch visits the tree to feed her chicks that are waiting. for her in the nest that is in the top of the tree so with the entry of the goldfinch there is commotion as the chicks they start their joyous chittering at the arrival of their mother so when the mother enters the chicks obviously they are happy so there is joyous chittering there is tremor there is wing flapping so lot of commotion and this whole commotion and activity it passes to the rest of the tree so the clamor and the excitement is passed on to the whole tree and under its effect the whole tree trembles and shakes so wo sari commotion activity sare tree mein phail jati hai aur sara ka sara tree jo hai wo tremble aur shake karne lagta hai so thus in the end when the goldfinch leaves it is the whole tree and not only the top of the tree that becomes still and subsides into emptiness so phir goldfinch ke jaane ke baad pura ka pura tree jo hai wo shant ho jata hai still ho jata hai sirf ab wo upar ka top nahi Yeah, just still out there. So that is why, in the last line, he is referring to the tree as a whole. The whole tree, the laburnum, subsides to empty, subsides into empty. So this is an important question again. So that's all for today. I hope all these important questions they are very clear now. All expressions are also clear. So do subscribe to my channel so that I keep on posting the MCQs and other important explanations. Do check the playlist for other chapters. and give a thumbs up to this video so bye for now and happy preparation